you will learn how to use Envoy Gateway to expose applications within a Nakis cluster. Envoy Gateway is kind of replacement for the old model which is the Nginx Ingress Controller. So we use it to use the ingress coming from the Nginx ingress controller which is a single object that contains the configuration for the routing for the TLS certificates for managing the host names and having all of these responsibility bound to one single object made it a real pain to have a segregation of roles within the enterprise because here we find some of the roles that should be managed by the infra team like managing the DNS and TLS certificates and some are the responsibility of the project or the application team like routing within the application and exposing the poor numbers. So a cleaner design was to use the gateway API which will split that ingress into uh, multiple objects. So here we'll find HTTP route, gateway and the gateway class. In addition to the TCP route, HTTP route and so on. So at the end, this gateway is maintained by the CNCF community, so it have lots of support and its operational model will make it easier for different teams to manage only their file files or their uh, configurations. So there is no overlap between the responsibility of each team. Envoy Gateway is one of the implementations for the Gateway API. It's not the only one because you have also application gateway for containers in Azure. And Nginx also have a new implementation for the Gateway API and some of the service meshes like Istio or Linkerd also implement the Gateway API. So let's see how that works with Envoy and AKS. For the lab of the day, it will be available within this GitHub repository. Go to folder 670 where you will find the files and also the readme file with all the instructions for getting started. Make sure to clone it on your local machine. That's what I have done here. And then I have created a new AKS cluster and they've connected to that cluster and they can get the nodes. You can see here I have three nodes. And then what I have done is that I have installed the Envoy uh, gateway using Helm and using Cube Control. I installed it into a new namespace that is called Envoy Gateway System. So then if I go get all from that names, namespace I should see here the pod the services deployment and replica set that was created. Now let's go to deploy a sample application and expose it into or using the uh, Envoy Gateway API. This is going to be our application so it's sample deployment with one replica that will use this eco basic uh, uh, container. It will show some information about the pod name and namespace and then it will use a service that is a private service exposed on port number 3000. Let's go to deploy it using kube control apply and then let's do get all in order to get the container that is still creating and the two services or the service backend that will be created. After that, we'll go to deploy the objects that will help to expose the application within AKS. Those objects are the gateway class, first of all. So here we are creating a new gateway class. This is like Nginx uh, uh, ingress right here that ingress class will use a controller name that will be called by default gateway.envoyproxy slash gateway class controller and then we create the gateway object itself it will be called eg for for envoy gateway and then we create the http route and this object is the one that will go to route the traffic to the backend which is of type service that is called backend remember that the service that we have uh, that we are using in order to expose our application. Great, so let's go to deploy these resources. For that I'll use kube control and then I specify the three files. Here it tells me that all those resources were created successfully. So now if I go to check for all the resources within the Envoy Gateway system namespace, I should see that here we have a new object like the Envoy Gateway, a new service name, a new deployment and a new replica set. Let's run that same command again and here within the service we should see that here we have a new service created which is of type uh, uh, load balancer because we want to expose our service uh, using a public egress gateway so for it, it for that will give us a public uh, IP address right here and the public IP address is coming from the node resource group so if I go to this uh, IP right here that's the one available here. So at this stage now I'm ready to go to access to my application it will be exposed on that IP slash uh, get so I'll go 
to open new browser, paste that IP and then slash uh, get. And from here we get the output of the application, which is JSON output exposing the, the content of uh, our request. So here we are testing with the public IP address, but you can also test with an FQDN. So let's say here we want to use www.example.com as a DNS name for that uh, application. We can navigate back to the HTTP route and here uncomment this section here, which uh, mentions host name. We'll use www.example.com. Deploy that uh, resource again. And then you can simulate that I'm connecting from that www.example.com by using here this uh, curl command, specifying it as a header and then pasting the real URL for my application, which is that uh, public IP slash uh, uh, get. Sorry, this wouldn't work for me in PowerShell. So what I'm gonna do simply is just switch to git bash, for example. And from here, I can run that same request. And then I get back the JSON response from my exposed application, where we can see here that uh, JSON. Great, I hope this was helpful. And that was how you can use Envoy Gateway to expose applications within AKS. Thank you.